Hello everyone, Matt here, and today I will be explaining to you how to download and install custom maps and mods for Left 4 Dead 2. This game has been out for around 7 years now, or almost 7 years now, and there are a ton of videos out there explaining the very same thing I will. Um, and yet, I still get a lot of messages and comments asking me how, uh, and plus, I don't know how recently one has been made or how well they've been made. Um, some people tend to get quite confused by it, even though it is quite simple. There are two main ways to do this, or at least two main ways I do it. One is uh, downloading the maps off of a third party website, uh, one that's community ran in which authors and players upload maps and other mods for public use. There are only two websites out there that I know of that do this, and those two are the only ones I trust downloading mods off of. Uh, one of them is GameBanana.com, and the other is GameMaps.com. The one I personally use is GameMaps. Before you go to a website to download mods, um, you're going to need a program called WinRAR. Um, this program technically is free. Um, it does prompt you to pay for it multiple times, but you can use it for free. Um, to save you time, I'll just go to the direct uh, link in the description. Um, you'll go right to the download page, which I'm looking at right here. Um, you get to pick which language you want it. Obviously, I speak English. I'm in the United States, so I'm going to pick English. You have to base it off of the bit window system that you have. Um, most of us nowadays have 64-bit, so you're going to have 64-bit. So you just click on the English version 64-bit or you know whatever language you want. Um, and then you go download and you go through all the steps, blah, 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 and you get it downloaded. Um, that you're gonna need this to unzip the files in order to um, export them into the folder for Left 4 Dead 2. What's inside game maps? This website also hosts uh, maps and mods for other games such as Counter Strike, uh, Half Life, and Skyrim. Um, the one you want is Left 4 Dead 2, uh, so it's just gamemaps.com forward slash Left 4 Dead 2, and the link will be in the description if you need it. Um, you'll be greeted by this home page that has just like the most recent or the most popular mods on its homepage. Um, to single out different ones that you want, you can just go to the maps or the mods or the guides or the tools, images, videos, whatever, all the subcategories. Um, today we're gonna be using uh, maps. The inst installation process is the same exact one you use for mods. So we're just gonna use maps for uh, an example. On the map uh, page here, um, we're just gonna pick. Let's let's do De Prodigy for Left 4 Dead 2. Um, so you click on the map. You can be a uh, member if you want. It makes downloading them quicker and everything like that. But it's not that important. Uh, once you're on the page, you're gonna go down to where it says download, right here in the corner. Click on that. It's going to come up with different servers based on your location. Um, like this one is only for premium people that have a login. I used to, but I haven't logged in for a very long time, so I don't remember it. Um, I always pick Salt Lake, even though I'm closer to New York. For some reason, Salt Lake City, uh, the server over there is quite faster than New York's. So once you pick one, you just hit download. It's going to wait for your download here. Click to continue to your download, and it'll start downloading within five seconds. Hopefully. Yeah, there it is. So it starts downloading. Once you have the file downloaded, um, it's going to open up this screen. This is the WinWar app that I uh, told you at the beginning of the video. Um, the map is here. It's the .vpk. Um, usually, sometimes it comes with a readme file just from the author telling you how to install or special details about the campaign and whatnot. That doesn't matter. Just click on the map until it's highlighted blue, and you're going to hit Extract To. Now, if you do it often, it's going to save your path here. Um, I run a cleaner every so often, so it clears all this cache. But it's better that I show you anyways. So it always depends on what drive. Um, the file location is always going to depend on what drive your game is downloaded in. Now, for me, it's in my E drive. For most of you, it'll probably be in your C drive, but the file path is the exact same um, than it was in the C drive than it is in the E drive. So for me, it's in my E drive, it's in my SSD. I just open that up, I go to Steam, 
I go to Steam Apps. I go to Common. I look for Left 4 Dead 2, which is right here. I open up Left 4 Dead 2 again. And then I just click on add-ons. I don't open it, I just click on it. And I hit OK. And then this one is a very small file size, so it extracted right away. Um, some that are larger will take a couple seconds to extract, all depending on your hard drive speed and whatnot, but that one was fairly quick. The second option on how to download Left 4 Dead 2 mods, which for me is the best, is the Steam Workshop. If you have Steam, you have Left 4 Dead on Steam, this is where you're automatically going to go. Uh, everyone's going to have this. So it's not an exclusive feature or one you have to pay for. So you just go down. This is the main page in your library for Left 4 Dead 2. You can access the workshop in different screens. I just go to the page in my library and hit Browse the Workshop. This is going to open up the workshop page for Left 4 Dead 2. Um, I'm going to go to most popular. I'm going to look for one. Now for this, I guess I'll I will use a I will use a weapon skin because there aren't a lot of updated um, maps here. Um, maps are aren't made as quick as mods are. Mods go up um, a lot more often than maps do. So I'll select this, the AK-12 Betrayal. All you got to do is when you click on the mod. All you got to do is go to this big green subscribe button and hit subscribe. This will automatically download it pretty quick. You can see it down here. Um, and then you're all set to go. It's downloaded to your game. So that is pretty much everything you need to know. It, it, it was a little bit of a longer tutorial, but I want to show you various ways how to do it um, and the info on everything. Now, if you have more questions, that I somehow could not answer during this video, please uh, post it down below and I will um, answer them or you can message me. Uh, hopefully this clears some things up for the people who still don't know how to do it. Um, again, if you have questions, let me know and thanks for watching. Take care.